Mathis Funeral Home of Dexter and Bernie strives to provide their community with the accommodations and services needed to relieve your family during times of loss. For more information, give them a call and see how Mathis Funeral Home can help meet your expectations in celebrating your loved ones. Southern Custom Meats in Dexter, Missouri is providing you with the best in custom butchering, fresh vegetables, and farm fresh eggs. Call now or visit us today and see the Southern Custom Meats difference for yourself. Do you need personalized merchandise trying to celebrate the season of that big state run? Then Juju Promotions in New Madrid has you covered. Whether it's heat presses, screen printing, or embroidery, we always have an option that will leave you satisfied and looking your best. With seasonal styles and plenty of accessories, there's something here for everyone. So come in and shop around. You'll be welcome with a smile and leave more fashionable than ever. Call us at 573-748-4040 or visit us in New Madrid. First State Bank and Trust wants to thank the Dexter community for 20 years in business. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by our Dexter branch to explore all your financial options. Missouri State Senator Jason Bean, representing Butler, Carter, Dunklin, Mississippi, New Madrid, Oregon, Pemiscot, Ripley, Stoddard, and Wayne Counties, would like to wish all the Southeast Missouri basketball programs in the 25th District a safe and successful season. Just remember, if Altrin Moreland is not on the back of your vehicle, you paid too much. cotton in the Mid-South is hard work. As a farmer, you make tough decisions every day. Choosing a cotton variety shouldn't be one of them. Next-gen brand varieties from Americot are bred specifically for cotton growers like you. We're 100% independent and farmer-owned. Plant cotton that works as hard as you do. Americot. All we do is cotton all the time. At Focus Bank, we understand your community because it's our community too. With branches across Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas, Focus Bank offers services such as fraud protection, really free checking, and mobile banking that lets you bank simply and securely, anytime, anywhere. Stop by any of our branches or visit us online to open an account today. Plus, you'll receive an awesome free gift just from opening your really free checking account. And when you refer someone who opens an account, you'll both receive a gift. Focus Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Next Era Energy Resources is the world's largest generator of renewable energy from the wind and sun, and a world leader in energy storage. Since 2016, Next Era Energy Resources has invested more than $339 million in Missouri to fuel local economic growth. Today, our company owns and operates one wind energy facility in the state and is looking to invest even more in the Show Me State. We are committed to being a trusted community partner and look forward to providing affordable, clean, renewable energy for generations of Missourians to come. At Young Real Estate, we're Southeast Missouri, just like you. We are parents. We support local education. 
We are grandparents. We are active in our community. We are patriots. Serving all of Southeast Missouri, and we are here for you. We, we are young. At SEMO Health Network, we strive to provide caring and affordable health care while making our patients feel welcome in our warm and friendly atmosphere. With locations throughout Southeast Missouri, we provide medical, dental, OB, and behavioral health services to anyone and everyone that may need it. Visit SEMO Health Network for your wellness exams, COVID and flu vaccinations, lab services, dental exams, counseling, and more. For more information, visit our website and let SEMO Health Network take care of you. We're right here at King Jerry Lawler's Hall of Fame Bar and Grill on world famous Beale Street. And as you can see, oh my gosh, we have the best barbecue ribs in Memphis. Oh my gosh, the gumbo is out of this world. But you gotta try the King's Triple Decker Slam Burger. You'll love it. My name is Kevin Ronsville. I'm a farmer from Prairie County, Arkansas. Been farming since 1991. Started farming with my father-in-law when I got married. We've been raising rice ever since. We've all been looking for something for a change for years. And I think this 263L is gonna be the next and up and coming thing for us. It's really gonna work well on a lot of different ground and a lot of different farms around here. Dynagro 263L, available exclusively at Nutrient Ag Solutions. Duncan County Transit in Malden, Missouri is a fast and safe way for you to stay mobile. Call them at 573-276-5806. I'm running for governor for one simple reason. Because parents who are working extra shifts today have children who need to beat the odds tomorrow. Good afternoon and welcome to postseason high school basketball on Acorp Sports. We're coming to you live today from Richland High School as the number one seed Risco Tigers takes on the number two seed Richland Rebels in the Class 1 District 2 Championship from Essex, Missouri. Garrett, we're in for a big matchup today. Yeah, Luke, this is what high school basketball is all about. It's win or go home, these two Class 1 schools. Risco comes in with a record of 23-4 and four, with losses to two Class 2 schools, South Scott and Puxico. Also a loss to Campbell and Westwood Baptist. They have won 15 out of their last 16 games. Uh, the Richland Rebels sport a record of 21-7, and seven, also a champion to the Starter County Conference. Yeah, that's right. We've got the, uh, the champions of the Tri-County Conference and the Risco Tigers and the champions of the Stoddard County Conference, the Richland Rebels. We knew at the beginning of the year there was a lot of buzz around both teams and many predicted that these two would meet in this very environment. And here we are today on a Saturday afternoon for a heavyweight Class 1 matchup between the Risco Tigers and the Richland Rebels. As we had uh, talked about earlier, Risco and Richland had met previously. It was at Risco High School. Risco defeated um, Richland 79-69 in that game. Very high-scoring affair. Both teams shot high percentage. Today, in a bigger environment, 
will the nerves be a factor? Yeah, you know, like you said, that last game was at Risco, and it's a, it was an incredible environment, just like we had today here. The crowd's starting to pile in. You know, it's going to be a great atmosphere and a great crowd. If nerves are a factor, you know, it's two big-time coaches in this game. They've met. It's their fourth district championship they've coached each other against, Matt Klein and Brandon Blankenship. That's right. Two very well-coached teams uh, with Brandon Blankenship and Matt Klein. Uh, they've met before with uh, varying results, and today these two teams are playing for a shot to host a sectional game. This, uh, the winner of this game will take on the winner of the Cooter and Clarkton district, and uh, as I said earlier, the winner will, will uh, host the sectional game, and that will be on February 27th. I'm not sure about the time yet. But uh, that'll be on February 22nd. As I said earlier, the winner will host that sectional game. Also, uh, on our sister, on our other stream, we're doing the Class Three District Two Championship, the uh, Charleston Blue Jays and the Notre Dame Bulldogs, and we'll keep you guys posted with some scores on that one. We'd like to thank everybody who is uh, tuning in today on Mission TV. And also want to remind everybody that we have over-the-air broadcast rights. So we, uh, we have this game and all of our postseason action on our, on our TV networks. If you've got GoSemo, it's live on GoSemo 95. If you have Sparklight, it's on Acorp Media Channel 21. And if you have Pim Scott Dunklin, it's on Pim Dunk Channel 95 also. So stay tuned on Facebook. Any, anything that you see that we're broadcasting, it'll be live um, on our stations as well, but due to uh, Misha owning broadcast rights on the streaming edge, we have to, when we stream it, put it on Misha TV and uh, it's through a pay-per-view wall. But uh, we're going to take a quick 30-second timeout as uh, the teams warm up, and we'll be back with a little more in-game analysis. Growing cotton in the Mid-South is hard work. As a farmer, you make tough decisions every day. Choosing a cotton variety shouldn't be one of them. Next Gen brand varieties from Americot are bred specifically for cotton growers like you. We're 100% independent and farmer owned. Plant cotton that works as hard as you do. Americot, all we do is cotton all the time. What First State Community Bank means to me is it says it in its name, community. We're family, we care about one another, uh, whether it's in our SEMO markets or we can reach out to someone in Farmington, Columbia. They're always there to assist. We are very customer focused. Our employees do a great job with listening to the customers. The tellers know 100% of all customers by their name. If you want to feel at home, then walk into the doors of our State Community Bank. Duncan County Transit in Malden, Missouri is a fast and safe way for you to stay mobile. Call them at 573-276-5806. I'm running for governor for one simple reason. Because parents who are working extra shifts today have children who need to beat the odds tomorrow. Welcome back to Richland High School as uh, we are live here with seven minutes to go before the Class 1 District 2 Championship. Um, big time game here tonight. We're going to give you a, a little score rundown of another game. We've got the Richland Rebels taking on the Puxico Indians. And at halftime, I'm sorry, the Puxico Indians taking on the Advance Hornets. And at halftime, it's 36-27, Puxico. Um, and also going on at 2 o'clock, we have the Notre Dame Bulldogs taking on the Charleston Blue Jays at Notre Dame. We'll give you updates on that scores. And then tonight at 6 o'clock in Clarkton, the Cooter Wildcats will be taking on the, uh, the Clarkton Reindeer. And at 7 o'clock, the uh, New Madrid County Central Eagles um, – will be taking on the Malden Green Wave. And so tons of high school basketball here on Saturday. And, and for class one through three, the sectionals will be on February 27th. And uh, you can catch all those there. And then the quarterfinals will be on March the 2nd. 
And with the new MISHA rules and the new way that host sites work, the bottom, since we're in an even year, the bottom of the bracket um, will host the sectional play. It won't be at host sites like it has been in the past. It'll be more formatted the way volleyball had been doing it um, and, and football also. So uh, five minutes left, roughly five minutes left here at Richland before game time. Uh, we're going to take one more quick timeout, and we'll be back. This funeral home of Dexter and Bernie strives to provide their community with the accommodations and services needed to relieve your family during times of loss. For more information, give them a call and see how Mathis Funeral Home can help meet your expectations in celebrating your loved ones. Southern Custom Meats in Dexter, Missouri is providing you with the best in custom butchering, fresh vegetables, and farm fresh eggs. Call now or visit us today and see the Southern Custom Meats difference for yourself. Do you need personalized merchandise? Trying to celebrate the season of that big state run? Then Juju Promotions in New Madrid has you covered. Whether it's heat presses, screen printing, or embroidery, we always have an option that will leave you satisfied and looking your best. With seasonal styles and plenty of accessories, there's something here for everyone. So come in and shop around. You'll be welcome with a smile and leave more fashionable than ever. Call us at 573-748-4040 or visit us in New Madrid. First State Bank and Trust wants to thank the Dexter community for 20 years in business. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by our Dexter branch to explore all your financial options. Missouri State Senator Jason Bean, representing Butler, Carter, Dunklin, Mississippi, New Madrid, Oregon, Pemiscot, Ripley, Stoddard, and Wayne Counties, would like to wish all the Southeast Missouri basketball programs in the 25th District a safe and successful season. Welcome back to Richland High School. Three minutes left on the clock before the game starts here. And, and Garrett, um, as we're sitting here looking over the rosters, um, there's a whole lot of, of uh, juniors and sophomores on these teams. There's, there's some good senior leadership on both squads, but there's a lot of uh, juniors and, and sophomores too. So we're looking at two teams that, uh, that the uh, class one, that they're going to be battling out here for a few years, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. These two teams have been uh, going at each other for a while now. And like you said, you know, Risco is junior laden. You know, they got a few seniors. Richland's the same way. They got a few seniors. But junior related, so uh, these teams could easily meet again next year. So it should be a good matchup. Yeah, you're looking at uh, on the Richland side, Hayden Connor, sophomore, Gary Tilly, sophomore, Tucker Hughes, junior, Eric Williams, junior. Um, and uh, hold on one second. He said y'all caught on. Just remember, if Altry Moreland is not on the back of your vehicle, you paid too much.
Growing cotton in the Mid-South is hard work. As a farmer, you make tough decisions every day. Choosing a cotton variety shouldn't be one of them. Next-gen brand varieties from Americot are bred specifically for cotton growers like you. We're 100% independent and farmer-owned. Plant cotton that works as hard as you do. Americot. All we do is cotton all the time. At Focus Bank, we understand your community because it's our community too. With branches across Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas, Focus Bank offers services such as fraud protection, really free checking, and mobile banking that lets you bank simply and securely, anytime, anywhere. Stop by any of our branches or visit us online to open an account today. Plus, you'll receive an awesome free gift just from opening your really free checking account. And when you refer someone who opens an account, you'll both receive a gift. Focus Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Next Era Energy Resources is the world's largest generator of renewable energy from the wind and sun and a world leader in energy storage. Since 2016, Next Era Energy Resources has invested more than $339 million in Missouri to fuel local economic growth. Today, our company owns and operates one wind energy facility in the state and is looking to invest even more in the Show Me State. We are committed to being a trusted community partner and look forward to providing affordable, clean, renewable energy for generations of Missourians to come. At Young Real Estate. Welcome back to Richland High Schools. We're getting ready for the starting lineups. I'm sorry, right when we had to cut off, we had a uh, little disturbance in the booth, and, and, and so we cut it to commercial. Um, and uh, now the starting lineups between the uh, number one seed Risco Tigers, as you hear the Risco fans, and the number two seed Richland Rebels, as you hear the Rebel faithful. And now the starting lineups. First for Risco, junior number zero, Landon Baker. Number three, sophomore, Eli Rogers. Number 14, sophomore, Owen Fortner. Uh, number 20, junior, Sammy Smith. And senior, number 24, C.J. Blankenship. And now for the Richland Rebels. Number four, junior, Eric Williams. Number five, sophomore, Hayden Connor. Number 10, junior, Hunter Sanders. And number 12, sophomore, Gary Tilly. And number 23, junior, Tucker Hughes. And here we are. We're just moments away from tip-off of the Class 1 District 2 Championship. Garrett, we've got some good veteran officials on the floor tonight, too. Yeah, we got uh, Jay Piles, uh, Damer Poli, and uh, Spriggs here. Yeah, three good ones. Uh, three great officials here calling this matchup. We'll have uh, Owen Fortner and Tucker Hughes jumping uh, opening tip here for each team. Richland in the gray, trimmed in red and white. Risco in the white, trimmed in black and gold. It's up, tip, and it'll be out of bounds. It'll be white basketball as uh, Tucker Hughes tips it out of bounds there for the Rebels. Richland looks like they're going to start things off in a man-to-man -man defense. Eric Williams drawing the assignment of trying to guard Sammy Smith here. Smith drives with his right, clear out, up and in. Risco takes the lead. Two to nothing Tigers to start the game. Nice little Iverson cut there by Blankenship to draw the weak side defenders out, and Smith went straight to the basket. Good job there, clearing it out. Sanders controlling traffic. Looks like Risco also in the man-to-man -man defense. Little pick and roll with Hughes. He drives, little contact, nothing. Williams gets it. Bounced around, brought down by Owen Fortner. The Tigers are running. Kick over to Baker. Over to Eli Rogers. Connor guarding Rogers closely. Rogers drives, goes up. 
Good job there by Eli Rogers with the bucket. 4 nothing, Risco. Good job by Hayden Connor staying up in the air, not fouling there. Connor drives over to Sanders. Three-point shot up. No good. Rebound, Baker. Risco setting up the offense. Fortner catches in the high post. Smith cuts. A little mid-range jumper, no good. Good rebound there by Eric Williams. Now the Rebels are running. Sanders pulls it out top. Hughes to Connor. Over to Tilly. Picked off by Landon Baker. Baker goes in, up for two. Six nothing Risco. Coach Klein wants a timeout, and we're going to take one as well. We'll be right back on Acorn Sports Network. Back here to Richland High School. Risco leads Richland six to nothing with six minutes and 20 seconds left in the first. Hunter Sanders brings it down. Tilly drives. Nice strong move there by Gary Tilly to get the Rebels on the board. 6 2 Risco. Yeah, nice drive there by Tilly in their five out offense. He created a single gap and drove the lane. Tilly, a really good three point shooter. You got to respect the three, so they get out and close out, and he takes it to the hole. Risco working it around. Blankenship passes it down, knocked away by Williams. Good defense there by Richland. Hughes brings it across the half. Over to Connor. Sanders to Tilly. Sanders thought about it. He's going to drive. Goes up with his left, knocked away by Baker. Out of bounds on the Tigers will be Richland basketball. Once again, a nice drive there by Richland. You know, they're creating gaps to drive into open penetration. But a nice job there by Landon Baker to recover. Risco in the man-to-man -man defense. Blankenship guarding Sanders. Weak side motion there as Williams catches. To Tilly. Back to Hughes. Hughes wasn't ready for it. Rodgers ends up with it. Down to the corner, Baker. He's going to drag his foot. That's a walk. Richland basketball. So far, Garrett, big time atmosphere here at uh, Richland High School. The gym is packed. The line started lining up around one o'clock and uh, a lot of people here to watch this game. Tilly, top of the key. Hughes, guarded by Owen Fortner. Connor drives to the basket. He drives and that'll be an offensive foul there on uh, Hayden Connor. Good job by Landon Baker setting his feet and drawing the charge there. Yeah, Landon Baker's done that all year long. You know, he's uh, he doesn't score a lot, but he does a lot of the dirty work for Risco, and good teams need one of those people. Five minutes remaining here in the quarter. Six to two, Risco. As Risco works their offense. Eli Rogers drives, loses his footing, stolen by Connor. Connor with the basketball, down to Sanders. He thought about it, passed back to Connor. Blocked away there by Eli Rogers. Down to Smith. Smith drives, stops, pops. Up and good, Sammy Smith for two. Eight to two, Risco. Nice job there by Sammy Smith, a little 15 foot jumper, that's his A game. Eric Williams drives. Knocked away again by Risco. C.J. Blankenship retains possession. Down the corner to Smith. He drives. Kicks. Good hands there by Hayden Connor, knocking it away. Tucker Hughes drives. Lays it in. Tucker Hughes for two. Cuts the lead to 8-4. Good hands there by Hayden Connor, knocking the ball loose. Creating a little activity for Richland. As Hughes knocks it away, Connor drives to the lane. Up and in. Nice move there, Hayden Connor. Cutting the lead to two. 
momentum swift here. You know, R Risco got off on a big run, and here's Richland answering it. Two quick turnovers there, forced by the Rebels, have led to two easy buckets. Owen Fortner on the top of the key, down to Eli Rogers. A little ball screen, Rogers doesn't use it. Fortner thought about it, pump fake, drives. Smith has it in the corner. Blankenship, thought about the three, drives. Fortner, wide open three point shot, no good, rebounded by Hughes. Rebel basketball. 8 6 Risco, three minutes remain as Coach Klein giving his team instructions. They're setting it up. Nice post still by Terry, knocked away by Sammy Smith. Risco running. Smith drives. Mid range jump shot up. No good. Rebound by Tilly. Sanders ahead to Connor. Back to Sanders. Over to Tilly. Wide open three point shot is up and good. Gary Tilly with the three, and that's Richland's first lead of the game. And Garrett, if Tilly's open, he's going to knock him down. Yeah, he had 15 last time against Risco. A really good three point shooter. Only a sophomore for the Rebels. Tilly, very versatile player for Richland. He can shoot the three, he can attack the bucket. And a little unforced error there by the Tigers as we see our first substitutions of the game. We got Riley Calvert subbing in for Blankenship and uh, Aaron Denson subbing in for Eli Rogers. Aaron Denson, a good spark off the bench, three-point shooter for the Tigers. Riley Calvert, good big man presence. Also checking into the game, senior Jaden Pope for the Richland Rebels. And there's a turnover forced by Denson. Ahead, down to Denson, pump fake. Fortner to Denson. Three-point shot by Denson, no good. Rebounded by Fortner. Knocked away by Sanders. Sanders down the floor. Up, and he's going to be fouled by Landon Baker. Hunter Sanders will be going to the line to shoot two. Yeah, nice job in transition by Hunter Sanders just to attack the rim and drew the contact by Baker. That's Baker's first team foul number one for Risco. We've kind of seen it on both ends here, Garrett. We've, uh, you know, we're in the district championship. Both teams have a little nerves. A few unforced errors on both sides. And uh, so far, a very low scoring first quarter. Yeah, the last time these two teams played, it was the opposite. You know, when the game was in the high 70s, you know, Risco was 79-69. Both teams kind of getting the nerves out of their system. It'll be a good game here. Yeah, Sanders will knock it down. Knock it one of the two down it's 10 to 2 or 10 to 8 I'm sorry Richland with the lead as Gary Tilly early on leads the Rebels with five points Sammy Smith a little isolation dumped it off to Fortner Fortner with a good drive and left hand and he'll tie it up nice drive there by Owen Fortner uh, 6 4 big big lengthy softball went up the left hand looks like Risco switching things up on defense Looks like, uh, and then also out of bounds on Risco. Went off Smith's leg there. Looks like that uh, Risco may have may have switched things up, and looks like they're in a little one-two-two uh, action here. Sanders drives over to Connor. Pope post up. Sanders ball fake to a three, no good. Rebounded by Calvert. One minute and eight seconds remain. Denson to Calvert, back to Denson. Smith on the wing, he'll drive. Picked up by Pope, spin move, head fake. And he's gonna drag his pivot foot, and that'll be a walk. That's eight early turnovers for Risco, just getting sped up offensively. Need to slow down and uh, control the tempo. That's what we had kind of talked about earlier, the nerves of these games. Sometimes sometimes the first quarter is a little sloppier than the, than the rest, uh, and it's most certainly due to nerves. Denson pressure and out of this 1-2-2. Two, two. Baker, hands. Williams catches and knocks it down. Eric Williams with a jumper. 12-2 Rebels. Williams is really good there on the high post. They got to check him out of that 1-2-2. Two, two. We've seen him all year long. He's very consistent in that high post. Very rarely does he miss one of those wide open jumpers. Sammy Smith will drive. Kicks it to Denson. Back up to Smith as Hughes guards Sammy Smith. And uh, Connor switches with Hughes. Ball screen, drives, knocked away. Denson retains. Over to Calvert. 
Good ball moved by the Tigers to Baker. Shot up no good. Rebounded by Smith. Smith pump fakes. Goes up and in. Nice, strong, smooth there by Sammy Smith. As he'll tie the ball game up 12-12. And that's good. Hunter Sanders knocks it down from half court as time expires. At the end of one, Richland leads Risco 15-12 on the Acorn Sports Network. And after one, here in the Class 1 District 2 Championship game, and the tail of the eight, Richland with five, that's a testament to the nerves, but also some big shots there. Shot there by Hunter Sanders to take uh, Richland into the second quarter with a lot, whole lot of momentum, big time player. Turnovers. They usually don't turn over that much, but like you said, nerves may have been an issue earlier there in the first quarter. With five first quarter points, Hunter Sanders with four, Hayden Connor with two, and for Risco, and Fortner with two, Eli Rogers with two, and Landon Baker with two. As Richland will start things off here in the second with the basketball, Aaron Denson's going to extend the pressure a little bit. Risco still in a 1 2 2 zone as Josiah Vasquez checks in for Risco. Connor with the ball at the top of the key over to Pope. Risco's doing a much better job of checking the high post there. Sanders has it. Good skip pass there to Pope, and Pope's going to draw the foul. I think that'll be on Eli Rogers. Good job there by Hunter Sanders with a skip pass finding the open man on the low block. As Jaden Pope, the uh, senior for the Richland Rebels, will go to the line. He'll knock down the first. Checking in for the Rebels will be uh, Tucker Hughes coming in for Gary Tilly. 16-12 Richland. Jaden Pope steps to the line to, for his. Jaden Pope gets two from the line. Rodgers will bring it down, guarded by Pope. High post action to Calvert. Over to Denson. Vasquez gives it up to Rodgers. Ball screen. Rodgers will drive. Jump stop. Up, knocked away by Hughes. Gets his own rebound. Kicks it out to Calvert. Tigers slowing it down a little bit here. And that'll be a, uh, a foul against Richland. That'll be on number 22, Jaden Pope. That is the first team foul for Richland. First foul for, one foul for Richland, one team for Risco. Inside pass to Calvert. Goes up, no good, a little short, rebounded by Hughes. Nice look there, a little screen to screen interaction is in a convert. Sanders over to Connor. A lot of activity inside there for Richland on some high post movement. Hughes catches it. Down to Connor. Three-point shot, no good. Good block out there by C.J. Blankenship to get the rebound. Blankenship will bring it down. And that'll be passed out of bounds. Another Risco turnover. Nine turnovers for Risco, eight in the first quarter. They need to settle down and get into their offensive flow. Let's go back to a man-to-man -man set. As you got Blankenship guarding Connor. Connor kicks to Hughes. He's guarded by Riley Calvert. Ball screen. Nothing doing. Williams drives, kicks to Pope. Pump fake, drives baseline. Sanders on the wing. We got a score update from Bloomfield. Puxico 79, advance 47. Hughes will drive, goes up and good. 
Good drive there by Tucker Hughes as Richland extends their lead to seven, 19-12. Risco's on a big cold spell here. They haven't scored since the middle stages of the first quarter. Five minutes and 50 seconds remain here in the second quarter. Ball screen, nothing doing. Smith drive to the free throw line and he'll be fouled on the floor. And I believe that foul is going to be on Tucker Hughes. Pope. Oh, that's on Pope. Is on that, Hughes. That is on Tucker Hughes. That's his first, second team foul. Landon Baker checking back in as well as Owen Fortner for the Tigers. Out of bounds play for Risco. And that'll be a five second call there um, against Risco. Once again, Risco's turnovers are becoming an issue. Ten turnovers here just in the first half. Richland really doing a good job on defense here early on. Hughes catches. A little pick and roll action there with Williams knocked away. Connor there to pick it up. Blocked by Fortner. Pope picks it up. Bounced around, and that'll be out of bounds on Owen Fortner. It'll stay here. Richland basketball. Nice offensive sweepings there by Richland. They went floppy action to a side ball screen. Got the good look. It's going to convert. Out of bounds play inside to Williams. Williams spins. Nice move. No good. Rebound of a Smith. He'll run. Down to Rodgers. Up to Baker. Three-point shot up. No good. Rebound by Sanders. Sanders going to slow it down a little bit here. Coach Klein wants him to set the offense up. Sanders drives, fakes one way, and gets foul. He'll be shooting two. I think that foul will be on Landon Baker, and I think that'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, Baker's second foul, and then you keep him out of foul trouble. Like I said, big facilitator, takes charges, rebounds the basketball well. Early on in this game, not a whole lot of fouling. Baker the only one with any fouls above one. He's got two. Two fouls on each team. Again, we're shooting double bonus at five now. Second free throw is up and good as Richland extends it to eight points. 2012. Four minutes and 53 seconds remain. Richland in the man to man defense. Smith directing traffic. High ball screen there from Fortner. Three-point shot from Smith, no good. Rebounded by Hayden Connor. Richland doing a good job on defending that high ball screen. Briscoe 0 for 5 from 3. Hunter Sanders with it. Pass knocked away, retained by Hughes. He spins. And that'll be a foul. I believe it'll be on Sammy Smith. It is on Sammy Smith. Third team foul for the Tigers. First on Sammy Smith. There's a screen. Pope's open down low. No good. Rebounded by Baker. Nice out of bounds play there from Richland. Pope just couldn't convert. Good job by Landon Baker getting the rebound. Gary Tilly's going to check back in for Jaden Pope. Both teams have their original starters in the game. Four minutes and 15 seconds left. Frisco yet to score here in the uh, second quarter, almost four minutes in. And again, news from Bloomfield. Congratulations to the Puxico Indians as they are district champions, knocking down the Advance Hornets. Frisco works it around. Ball screen again. Nice drive by Smith. Knocked away. Retains the basketball inside the Fortner. Thought about it. Gives it up to Baker. Baker's going to drive. Go to lane and one. Chance for an and one play. Nice strong move there from Landon Baker as he'll go to the line to try to convert the three-point play. That's what Risco needed, a little bit of a spark plug there, and Landon Baker drew the contact by Hughes and went up, and that's Hughes' second foul, so that could also help Risco out. And that is the, uh, the fourth foul on the Rebels. That's the second on Tucker Hughes as uh, Coach Klein's going to sub in Jacob Wally for, for Hughes here. That was also a big factor when the two teams met the first time around. Hughes picked up two fouls early in the second half, or the first half, correct me, and limited his minutes. Free throws up, no good. Rebound to Evan Wally. Six-point Richland Rebel lead. 
That was Risco's first free throw of the game. Richland four for six from the line. As William goes over, Sanders. Sanders, he's going to drive, guarded by Blankenship. Wally posting up. Nice move there. Up and two, Jacob Wally. Nice post move there by Jacob Wally, giving the Rebels a, an eight-point lead here. Eli Rogers didn't use the ball screen. Blankenship with it at the top of the key. Over to Smith. Smith drives. Mid-range jump shot. Up and good. Sammy Smith knocks it down. 22-14 Richland as Risco takes a timeout. We're going to take a quick break here on the Acorn Sports Network. First State Bank and Trust wants to thank the Dexter community for 20 years in business. We're there for you for your first paycheck. Buying a home. Opening a small business. Starting a family. Or planning to retire and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by our Dexter branch to explore all your financial options. Welcome back here to Richland High School as the number two seed Richland Rebels lead the number one seed Risco Tigers 22 to 16. And Garrett, it's been a story of turnovers early on here for Risco. Yeah, you know, turnovers have been a fact. Risco with 10, turnovers, Richland has five. Risco is really struggling in their uh, five out offense. Richland's doing a really good job of the, defending the ball screen. There's not much off ball movement for Risco. So far, the atmosphere has lived up to the hype of this game, too. The fans on both sides really supporting their team strongly today as Tilly drives. Good give and go there as Tilly puts it in. 24-16, Richland. That's Tilly's seventh point of the ball game. Smith has the basketball, drives to the lane, spin move. Back out to Blankenship, three-point shot up. No good, and it's going to be knocked away, saved by Rogers. Back to Blankenship. Blankenship drives. Nice pass inside to Owen Fortner. 24-18 Richland. Good job there by Risco retaining the offensive rebound and getting a second-chance opportunity. Tilly's going to drive. Nice move, Gary Tilly. Tilly now with nine. We've seen him in games this year. Put him up in a hurry. He's a scorer. He's got nine early on for Richland. Yeah, Tilly showing that he can play inside out here early on. Smith is going to drive. Shots up and good. Cuts the lead to six. Sammy Smith now with ten points for the Tigers. Briscoe starting to find a little bit of offensive flow, but Richland has an answer, it seems like. And that's going to be a blocking foul there on Sammy Smith. That's going to be his second foul. And uh, he's going to shoot two here, Eric Williams. So we talked about foul trouble for Richland. Now let's talk about it for Risco, where Tucker Hughes has two fouls. So does Sammy Smith. Yeah, and Sammy Smith really has been Risco's only offense. Ten points, three rebounds. They got to keep him out of foul trouble. Looks like they'll keep him in here, but he's a smart basketball player, so I'm sure he'll uh, stay out of foul trouble. A minute 39 left in the, game, in the half. Williams' first free throws up and good. Calvert and Denson checking back in for the Tigers. Williams toes the line for his second one. Shots up and good. 28-20 Richland. Smith with the basketball. Guarded by Eric Williams. Little motion from Risco. Smith's going to drive. Nice move there. Sammy Smith just getting to the hole with ease right there. Cuts the lead to six. Sammy Smith with 12 points now for Risco. Sanders is going to drive. Gets to the lane. And that's going to be out of bounds on Richland. Risco basketball. One minute, 11 seconds remaining here in the half. Class 1 District 2 Championship. Smith's going to bring it across. We've got Fortner and Calvert in the high post. A little action there from Denson. Calvert, low post. 
Fortner catches, spin move, up, no good. Knocked away, Sanders is gonna end up with it. Nice duck in action there by Owen Fortner, just couldn't convert. Tilly, long range three point shot, no good, rebounded by Smith. Smith is off and running. Behind the back, good hands there by Hayden Connor, knocking it away. Retained by Risco, three point shot. Rebounded by Tilly. And they're gonna get Owen Fortner with a foul, and that'll be the fifth foul which means Gary Tilly's going to go to the line here and shoot two. That'll be the first foul there on Owen Fortner. Gary Tilly with nine first half points has a chance to go to the line and, and have 11 here. Tilly's first one is up and good. Second free throw here from Gary Tilly is up. And good. Tilly knocks them both down. Eight-point lead here for Richland. Tilly has 11 points, and Smith has 12 leading scores so far. 25 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Ball screen. Smith. Rodgers for three. Shots up. No good. Good rebound. Riley Calvert. Rodgers is going to drive. Pump fake. Gets him in the air, and he's going to shoot two. Risco has still yet to hit a three. Now 0 for 8. Richland's 2 for 6. But Rich, Risco is shooting 11 for 17 inside the two-point arc when good, they can get there. Good job there by Eli Rogers. Garrett, you know I'm a fan of the head fake when you get into the lane, and that's what he used right there to get Tilly off his feet to get to the line. Rogers' first free throw is up and good. As Blankenship is going to sub in there for Smith. Smart move there by uh, the veteran coach Blankenship to get Smith out before uh, he's got two fouls. Don't want him to pick up that third. Going to sub Blankenship in for him here where Smith doesn't pick up that third foul. Yeah, 13 seconds left here. No need to pick up that third foul or try to. Also checking in uh, for Richland is, is Pope. He's going to sub in there for Hayden Connor. Second free throw from Rodgers is up, and it's good. Knocks them both down as Josiah Vasquez is going to sub in for Eli Rodgers. Vasquez, a good defender for the Tigers. Well, 55-man action here, full-court man. Drive by Sanders. He's trapped. Pope with it. Four seconds on the clock. Sanders is going to drive. Loses his footing. Still gets one off. No good. And at the end of a half, the Richland Rebels lead the Risco Tigers in Class 1 District 2 Championship 30-24. to We're going to take a break for the half, and we'll be back for second half action only on Acor Sports. Southeast Missouri, just like you. We are parents. We support local education. We are grandparents. We are active in our community. We are patriots. Serving all of Southeast Missouri, and we are here for you. We, we are young. At SEMO Health Network, we strive to provide caring and affordable health care while making our patients feel welcome in our warm and friendly atmosphere. With locations throughout Southeast Missouri, we provide medical, dental, OB, and behavioral health services to anyone and everyone that may need it. Visit SEMO Health Network for your wellness exams, COVID and flu vaccinations, lab services, dental exams, counseling, and more. For more information, visit our website and let SEMO Health Network take care of you. We're right here at King Jerry Lawler's Hall of Fame Bar and Grill on world famous Bill Street. And as you can see, oh my gosh, we have the best barbecue ribs in Memphis. Oh my gosh, the gumbo is out of this world. But you gotta try the King's Triple Decker Slam Burger. You'll love it.
My name is Kevin Rossville. I'm a farmer from Prairie County, Arkansas. Been farming since 1991. Started farming with my father-in-law when I got married. We've been raising rice ever since. We've all been looking for something for a change for years. And I think this 263L is gonna be the next and up and coming thing for us. It's really gonna work well on a lot of different ground and a lot of different farms around here. Dynagro 263L, available exclusively at Nutrien Ag Solutions. Duncan County Transit in Malden, Missouri is a fast and safe way for you to stay mobile. Call them at 573-276-5806. I'm running for governor for one simple reason. Because parents who are working extra shifts today have children who need to beat the odds tomorrow. Mathis Funeral Home of Dexter and Bernie strives to provide their community with the accommodations and services needed to relieve your family during times of loss. For more information, give them a call and see how Mathis Funeral Home can help meet your expectations in celebrating your loved ones. Southern Custom Meats in Dexter, Missouri is providing you with the best in custom butchering, fresh vegetables, and farm fresh eggs. Call now or visit us today and see the Southern Custom Meats difference for yourself. Do you need personalized merchandise? Trying to celebrate the season of that big state run? Then Juju Promotions in New Madrid has you covered. Whether it's heat presses, screen printing, or embroidery, we always have an option that will leave you satisfied and looking your best. With seasonal styles and plenty of accessories, there's something here for everyone. So come in and shop around. You'll be welcome with a smile and leave more fashionable than ever. Call us at 573-748-4040 or visit us in New Madrid. First State Bank and Trust wants to thank the Dexter community for 20 years in business. We're there for you for your first paycheck, buying a home, opening a small business, starting a family, or planning to retire, and everything in between. We're the local bank you know and trust for all of your financial needs. Visit fsbtrust.com or stop by our Dexter branch to explore all your financial options. Missouri State Senator Jason Bean, representing Butler, Carter, Dunklin, Mississippi, New Madrid, Oregon, Pemiscot, Ripley, Stoddard, and Wayne Counties, would like to wish all the Southeast Missouri basketball programs in the 25th District a safe and successful season. Just remember, if you altered more than down the back of your vehicle, you paid too much.
Welcome back to Richland High School, the Class 1 District 2 Championship as the Richland Rebels lead the Risco Tigers 30-24. to I've got some other scores in the region to, uh, to fill you guys in on. As we had mentioned earlier, Puxico won their district 79-47 over the Advance Hornets. And at the half at Notre Dame High School, Notre Dame leads Charleston 37-34 at the half. The winner of the, that game will play the winner of uh, New Madrid County Central and the Malden Greenway. They play tonight. Garrett, you want to run down some first-half stats? Yeah, looking at some scoring. First for uh, Richland, they lead 30-24. They're led in scoring by Gary Tilly with 11 points. Hunter Sanders has five. Eric Williams has four. Hayden Connor with two. Tucker Hughes with four. Jaden Pope has two. And for Risco, it's been a Sammy Smith show. They'll have to find someone else to score the basketball in the second half. Smith has 12, Owen Fortner has four, Eli Rogers has four, Landon Baker has four, he has two fouls. Smith also has two fouls, and that's the only scoring for Risco. Risco 11 for 25 from the field, 0 for 8 from three. Richland 10 for 27, two for seven from three. As, uh, as you alluded to there, Risco 0 for 8 from behind the arc. Usually in most games you see Risco knock down a few three-pointers. So far in the first half, they've been cold from behind the arc. Uh, so far, it's been the Gary Tilly, Sammy Smith show. Tilly with 11, Smith with 12. And uh, if you're uh, looking at the foul situation, there's only two people right now in foul trouble. You've got Tucker Hughes with two, Sammy Smith with two. Tucker Hughes spent a long portion of the second quarter on the bench for the Rebels as uh, Coach Klein had the lead there and took the liberty to, uh, to set Hughes to make sure he'd have this second half with three fouls not have three fouls for the second half is what I meant to say. Also, but, uh, one big thing to note here is Richland's 8 for 10 from the line and Risco has only got to the line three times so that's a big difference here. Richland shooting it well from the line and Risco not getting there. Yeah, R Richland doing a good job of attacking the hoop. Usually when you, uh, when you attack aggressively you get to the line um, and so on the rebounds it's fairly even rebounding wise Risco narrowly uh, out-rebounding Richland right now, 15-13. As we're about to get underway here in the third quarter, it's going to be Risco basketball. Again, they trail the Rebels 30-24. to And here we are. We're setting way here in the second half. 2-3 zone from Richland. Richland changing things up a little bit. Little flare screen, Smith for three, and he knocks it down. That's a good way to start off the second half of the Tigers. Cuts the lead to three. As Risco comes out in the man-to-man, -man, C.J. Blankenship is going to guard Hunter Sanders. Tilly guarded by Smith. And Smith's going to pick up his third foul here, and immediately you could tell that the Rebels' M.O. was to go right at Sammy Smith right there. They wanted to go right at him with Tilly. Yeah, Smith's uh, third foul, that's a big factor. Smith has 15 points there. That might help Risco out a little bit. Richmond's in a 2-3 zone, give him some more time to shoot that three in there. Smith hitting one off a uh, little flare screen set. Kelly goes to the line, knocks down his first one. Extends the lead back to four. So that's something to keep an eye on here. Sammy Smith with three fouls. Tilly knocks down the second one. And it looks like Richland was only going to be in that zone for the first possession because they're coming right back up in a man-to-man. -man. Eric Williams on Sammy Smith. He's did a good job so far. As Rodgers curl cut inside to Fortner. Nice pass there. Eli Rodgers finding Fortner down low. R really nice double stagger curl cut there from Risco. Got uh, Rodgers open and then found the uh, Owen Fortner wide open. Dish it down to him. Smith still guarding Tilly. Tilly goes right at him again. Good move there, Gary Tilly. And I'd say if you're Coach Klein, you want that ball in Tilly's hands and you want him to go right at Sammy Smith to try to get him to pick up that fourth foul. Six minutes and 46 seconds left in the third. Smith over to Blankenship. Blankenship works it around to Baker. Hand off to Smith. He drives, spin move, head fake. Gets him in the air. Ball rolls around. No good. Knocked away. Retained by Richland. Knocked back away by Eli Rogers. The ball was all over the place right there. 
Nice move there. Good footwork by Eli Rogers getting the defender in the air. Three-point ball game. And if you can't hear it, folks, this gym is loud. Hunter Sanders over to Tilly. Tilly's going to drive. And we're going to have a foul on number zero, Landon Baker. That'll be Baker's third foul. That's the second Tiger with three fouls now. Second team foul. Tilly will take it out of bounds. Inside the Hughes. He comes right in, posting up Baker. Nothing there. Connor over to Williams. Hughes curl cut. Inside. No good. Rebounded by Baker. Baker's going to run. Up ahead to Smith. Bounce pass. Up and good. Two points, Sammy Smith. 34-33, Richland. Just what Risco need, a little bit of momentum shift to here. The Risco crowd's fired up. Sanders with the basketball, guarded by Blankenship. Connor over to Williams. Over to Hughes. Tilly gets open. He's guarded now by Landon Baker. Baker has three fouls, so does Sammy Smith. Connor over to Tilly. Tilly's going to drive. Inside to Hayden Connor. Good pass. No good. Eric Williams there to clean it up. And he'll put it in for two. Good offensive rebound there by Eric Williams. Extending the Rebels lead to three. Risco setting up their offense. Fortner's going to flash. Give it off there to Rogers. Ball screen. Good defense there by Eric Williams, knocking it away. Klein wants them to slow it down a little bit and run their offense. Sanders is going to drive. He clears out. Nice hands there by Landon Baker to get the steal. He pushes. And he'll be fouled by Hunter Sanders. First foul of the quarter on Richland. As we've got Riley Calvert and Aaron Denson subbing in for Sammy Smith and uh, Landon Baker, both with three fouls. Richland still in a man to man as Fortner catches. Fortner to Blankenship. Ball screen. Blankenship uses it. Mid range jump shot up. No good. Rebound by Calvert. Knocked away again by Eric Williams. Nice active hands there. By Eric Williams knocking another one away. Richland's going to walk it up. Cross half court over to Connor. Hughes looks inside as Williams posts up. Tilly. He'll pull it from there. He thought about it but didn't. Sets the ball screen for Sanders. Tilly's going to roll. Sanders keeps it. Connor, pump fake, drives to the lane, gets to the lane, up and two. Good move there by the guard, sophomore Hayden Connor. Yeah, nice drive there by Hayden Connor, got into a single gap and drove the lane. Five point lead for Richland. 38 33. Three minutes and 30 seconds remain in the ball game. Risco works it around the perimeter. Calvert's going to cut. Blankenship, top of the key. He'll pivot and drive. And that'll be off Blankenship's foot. And it'll be Richland basketball. As Baker will check back in for Owen Fortner. Sanders guarded closely here by Aaron Denson. Good drive, mid-range jump shot, up and good. Hunter Sanders knocks down two. Increases the lead to seven for Richland. Two minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Three-point shot, no good. Brought down Tucker Hughes. Sanders going to walk it up. Seven-point lead here for Richland. Briscoe had a run to start this third quarter. Richland starting to create a run of their own here. As Sammy Smith's going to check back in for Eli Rogers.
again, that's something to keep an eye on as uh, Sammy Smith and Landon Baker both have three fouls. Hughes goes up, knocked away. Denson's going to get it. Denson for three. No good. And we're going to call Riley Calvert on the back there of Tucker Hughes. That is the fourth foul against the Tigers. as uh, Richland will get the basketball. Risco extending the pressure. A little 2-2-1 full court press. The Rebels will break it. Hughes is going to drive. Gets a little contact. Williams there to clean it up. Williams with two. And Coach Blankenship's going to call timeout. It's 42-33 Richland with two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds on ACOP Sports. Welcome back here to Richland High School. Class 1 District 2 Championship is uh, two minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Richland Rebels are up by nine. Risco basketball. We started off the third quarter. Risco made a run, cut it to one. And uh, Richland now on the run of their own here. Sammy Smith leading all scores with 17. Gary Tilly leading Richland with 15. Followed closely by Eric Williams and Hunter Sanders with eight and seven. Smith has the basketball. A minute 58 remains. We're going to work it around as Denson drives. Back up to Smith. Mid-range jump shot goes up and good. Sammy Smith is money from the mid-range. Sammy Smith with 19 points, but Risco has yet to find anyone else to get production. Rogers has six and Fortner has six. We need someone else to step up here. Good hands there by Risco as they knock it away. Hughes with a strong move and lays it in. Tucker Hughes with two. That's six on the game for Tucker Hughes. Drive, Sammy Smith outside the Vasquez. He's going to set a ball screen. Smith drives, and the bucket's good. Sammy Smith with a nice, strong move there. That foul's going to be against Hunter Sanders. And Smith's going to go to the line to try to convert the three-point play. It's a seven-point ball game. If Sammy Smith knocks it down, he'll cut the lead to six. The last time Risco played in district championship 2019, they were in the Exact same situation as this. Down at halftime, got down big against Scott County Central. And that'll be a, uh, a foul on Riley Coward. That's the fifth. Eric Williams will go to the line to shoot two. And uh, an update from, from Notre Dame High School. Charleston Blue Jays up by one in the third over Notre Dame. So both games seem to be pretty intense we got going on right now. As Eric Williams will go to the line trying to knock down two. First shot up off the side of the rim. Second shot is about to be underway here from the junior, Eric Williams. And his free throw is up, and he converts the second. Extends the lead here to eight. One, two, two, like from Richland. Richland switching up the defense a little bit. Vasquez has it, kicks it down to Calvert. Calvert to Baker. Baker back out to Smith. Mid range jump shot up and good. Sammy Smith with another mid range jumper. Risco in a 2-2-1. Two, two, 
Williams, and that'll be a kick ball in the hands of Riley Calvert. Sammy Smith with 23 in the game. Really catching fire here late in the third quarter. A little stack out of bounds play inside to Hughes. Nice strong move there by Tucker Hughes. 47-39 Richland. Smith has the basketball. Down to Calvert. Vasquez. Looks like Richland's still in that 1-2-2. Two, two. Skip pass to the corner. Denson thought about it. Good job there by Richland. Closing out on the shooter. Denson open for three. Knocked away by Williams. Smith gets the rebound. Spin move. Up. No good. Rebounded by Tilly. Five seconds remain. Four. And the shot is up. No good as time expires here in the third. From Richland High School at the end of three quarters is Richland Rebels, 47. Risco Tigers, 39. We'll be back for fourth quarter action on a court sports. We're for agriculture. For growers, doers, whatever it takers. We're for doing things with purpose. We're for the little guy with big guy dreams. We're for agriculture. We're for you. Nutrien Ag Solutions, leading the field. Welcome back to Richland High School. As the number two seeded Richland Rebels are ahead of the number one seed Risco Tigers. 47-39 here as we are about to take place of the fourth quarter here. And as you can hear, the gym is loud. Risco and Richland fans still very much alive in this game. Great atmosphere here for a high school basketball game. As we've got to do one of our mission reads here. Role models are more important than ever in today's society. You can serve as a role model for others the next time you display good sportsmanship at a high school athletic event. Good sports are winners and also vital to preserving our fine sports traditions. So the next time you attend a sporting event, remember to be a good sport. As Richland has the basketball, Hunter Sanders on the top of the key. He kicks it to Tilly over to Sanders. Sanders surveys over to Hughes. Risco in a 1-2-2. Two, two. Tilly drop step, puts it in. Double-digit lead now for Richland, 49-39. Rodgers is going to drive. He's going to get contact, and that'll be on the floor. That foul will be against number five, Hayden Connor. That's his second foul of the ball game. Ten-point lead here for the Richland Rebels. Seven minutes and 32 seconds remain in this ball game. Looks like screen-to-screener action here. And nothing's there. Smith catches, spins. Thought about it. Kicks it to Fortner. Fortner back to Smith. Briscoe needs to speed up the offense a little here. Smith drives, gets to the lane. Up and good. Sammy Smith with another strong basket. 25 on the game for Sammy Smith. It's an eight-point ball game. Hayden Connor has it. Skip pass to Hughes. Risco in a 1 2 2 zone. Kicked inside, knocked away by Smith. Rodgers is running. Bounce pass, knocked away by Eric Williams. We've seen Eric Williams knock, deflect three or four basketballs here this half. We have Eric Williams stepping up big here in the uh, early stages of the fourth quarter. Risco in a 1 2 2 as. Sanders will give it to Connor. And Coach Klein is going to take a full timeout. We're going to pay some bills as well. We're going to take a quick timeout, and we'll be right back on the Acorn Sports Network. Duncan County Transit in Malden, Missouri, is a fast and safe way for you to stay mobile. Call them at 573-276-5806. I'm running for governor for one simple reason. Because parents who are working extra shifts today 
have children who need to beat the odds tomorrow. Welcome back to Richland High School. The score of any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the action of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remind you, will, will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. Remember the lessons you teach today will develop better citizens in our communities for future tomorrow. This message is brought to you by your friends at Missouri State High School Activities Association. Six minutes and 31 seconds remain in this ball game as the Richland Rebels lead the Risco Tigers 49-41. Richland basketball. Tucker Hughes taken out of bounds. Inbounds to Sanders for three. No good. Rebounded by Fortner. The Tigers pushing the pace a little bit. Smith's going to get inside the paint. He'll spin. Finds Rogers cutting. Hit Smith for a corner three. No good. Rebounded there by Rogers. And that'll be a foul on Gary Tilly. Yeah, nice job there by Rogers to gain position there until he pushed him in the back there. And that's two fouls on Gary Tilly, two fouls on the Rebels here in the fourth quarter. Out of bounds play inside to Owen Fortner. Nice move there by Owen Fortner. Cutting the lead to seven. That's Fort what Risco needed, someone to step up, and there's Fortner. He has eight. Good footwork there by Owen Fortner putting that basket in. Saint. Connor drives over to Tilly. Tilly into the lane. Mid-range jump shot, no good. Rebounded by Fortner. Blankenship has it. Down to Baker for three. Shots up, no good. Rebounded by Connor. Five minutes and 35 seconds remain. Seven-point ball game. Six-point ball game. 49-46. Risco extends out to a man-to-man -man defense. Now they're still in the 1-2-2 as two, two. Fortner extends out to pick up Sanders. Connor will get it. Richland content running a little time off the clock here. A little four corners look here. Dean Smith special. Inside Eric Williams, mid-range jump shot. Up and good, 51-43. Eric Williams with 11.7 rebounds on the game. And a good job there by Hayden Connor setting his feet, picking up the offensive foul against Rogers. That is the second foul against e Eli Rogers there. We're just going to man to man. And they're going to get Baker there with a reach in foul. As you see the Richland fans rise. They've got one thing on their mind, and that's an upset. Risco still one for 14 from three. That's not the. Uh, that's not what's made them successful all year. So that's been a big factor in this game. Blankenship extending that pressure out on Hunter Sanders. Hunter Sanders is going to hand it off to Connor. Risco guarding the Rebels very closely. Backdoor cut to Williams, and Eli Rogers will pick up his third foul. That previous foul was Baker's fourth. So you got Rogers with three, Baker with four, and Smith with three. Three team fouls against the Tigers. Sanders corrals it in the backcourt, defended closely by Blankenship. Sanders drives, floater no good. Eric Williams again with an offensive rebound. Another one and puts it up and in. Eric Williams having a big game for the Rebels, crashing the offensive glass. Smith, mid-range jump shot, knocks it down. Timeout, Coach Blankenship. I believe it's a 30-second timeout, so we're going to stay here as Sammy Smith cuts this lead to eight with four minutes left in the game. In the previous possession, we saw Eric Williams with yet another offensive rebound and a putback, and that's been uh, Eric Williams' game all day. Yeah, Eric Williams with uh... 13 points, nine rebounds, near a double-double here. He's been that all year. 
Big rebounder inside for Richland. Also Tucker Hughes, eight points, three rebounds. Hasn't had as much of a uh, game as he usually does, but also playing well. Once again, Risco one for 14 from three and only two for four from the line while Richland's gotten to the line 14 times. A little over four minutes remain here in the Class 1 District 2 Championship. Again, we appreciate everybody for tuning in on, uh, on Mesha TV. Also, everybody on uh, Go Simo 95 on Sparklight Channel 21 and Tim Dunk Channel 95. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Also, the Clark Tonian has the game playing there. Give a big shout out to Tyler Miller, allowing fans to watch. Roger Jordan and Mark Kelly tuning in over at J.P. Ross Cotton Company. Eric Williams is going to drive. Knocked away. Picked up by Sammy Smith. Smith brings it down the floor. Over to Fortner. Fortner to Smith. Williams stays with Smith there. Good defense by Eric Williams. Spin move. Fortner over to Baker. Baker's going to drive. Up and good. Nice offensive play there for Risco as they cut the lead to six. Nobody on Tilly. He's wide open for a layup. And Richland scores again. 55-47 Richland. That's Tilly's 19th point of the game. Smith gets inside the lane. Up to Fortner. Jump shot up and good. They're trading buckets now. 55-49. Three minutes, ten seconds remaining. Sanders breaks the pressure. He'll drive and put it in. 57-49, Richard. Hand off to Rogers. Three-point shot from Fortner is up. No good. Rebounded there by Hayden Connor. Good position. And I believe that's going to be a foul on Eli Rogers. That'll be Eli's fourth. Good positioning there for Hayden Connor on that defensive rebound. Yeah, Briscoe now in panic mode, one of the full court man pressure, and that's the only option here to come back here. Sanders breaks it, back tip by Fortner, but it's going to go out of bounds. Two minutes, 44 seconds remaining in the ball game. Blankenship, Garden Sanders. Sanders catches it in the backcourt. They're going to come up and double. Tilly's going to drive. And that'll be a blocking foul. I believe that's going to be against number zero, Baker. And it is. That's his fifth foul. He's going to foul out for the Tigers. It's going to be the uh, fourth team foul against the Tigers. As the Risco faithful giving Landon Baker a round of applause for a hard play game here. Baker fouls out with six points, four rebounds, or five rebounds. Yes, four rebounds, correct me. Gary Tilly, very good free throw shooter, steps to the line for Richland. Richland 11 for 14 from the line. They've done the little things right all night. Tilly's shot is up and good. Nine-point lead for Richland. Two minutes and 37 seconds remain in the ballgame. Tilly's second shot is up and good. Ten-point lead, two minutes, 36 seconds left. Sammy Smith's going to bring it down. Ball screen, he attacks with his left. And he's going to be called for traveling. Briscoe's going to extend the pressure out a little bit. They're going to pick him up full court man-to-man. -man. Two minutes, 29 seconds left in the ball game. Hunter Sanders guarded by senior C.J. Blankenship. Blankenship done a good job tonight guarding Sanders. Hughes guarded by Fortner. Fortner's going to pick up the foul there. Sanders is going to go to the line. Richland shooting two from here on out. Ten-point lead for Richland. That's Briscoe's only option, send Richland to the free throw line, and hopefully you could trade a miss for a make. 
as Hunter Sanders knocks it down, extends the lead to 11, 60-49 Richland. Knocks down the second, 61-49. We've got a timeout, Richland. It's a full timeout. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a few on the ACO Sports Network. Just remember, if Altered Moreland is not on the back of your vehicle, you paid too much. We are back here at Richland High School as the Richland Rebels lead the Risco Tigers 61 to 49. Trying to work on getting some, some scores from up at Notre Dame. Uh, the last update we got, I believe, I believe, Charleston had taken a one-point lead over Notre Dame. And again, congrats to the Putzko Indians, Class 2 district champions at Bloomfield. C.J. Blankenship taking the ball out of bounds. Smith picks it up. Two minutes, 15 seconds left. Risco down 12. Smith spins up to Fortner. Blankenship catches over to Smith. Smith, three-point shots up and good. That's 30 points on the night now for Sammy Smith. Sanders breaks the press. Nice pass down to, to Hughes. Hughes up to Tilly. And they're going to foul Hunter Sanders, and he's going to go to the line. Hunter Sanders with 11 points on the night. Two rebounds. Once again, uh, Risco struggled to have someone else step up in this game. It's been a uh, Sammy Smith show, 30 points. Owen Fortner has 10, and that's really all they're scoring here. Rogers has six. As Hunter Sanders knocks down the first one, extending it back to 10. The second one is up and good. Richland very good from the line tonight, 17 for 20. Sammy Smith, three-point shot, up and good. It's 33 now for Smith. A minute 38 left, eight point ball game. Sanders, nice pass down low to Connor. He's gonna convert and go to the line for a chance with three point play. Good look there by Hunter Sanders. As Hayden Connor's gonna go to the line to convert, try to convert a three point play. He also extends the lead back to 10. That's his sixth point of the ball game for Hayden Connor. Second free throw is up and good. 18 for 21 from the line now for Richland. Rogers is going to drive, he's, and Williams will be called for that foul. Blankenship will take it out. Green set, Rodgers open, nice out of bounds play for Risco. Rodgers is going to score it, Coach Blankenship's going to take a timeout. It's a nine point ball game, one minute, 25 seconds remaining in the game. It's a 30 second timeout. Gives me time for one more Misha read. Tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between two schools, but it also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, your friends at A-Corp Sports and Misha remind everyone to do their part in keeping our hometown sports a positive environment for everyone. When you attend your next game, do your part to help rekindle the spirit of citizenship by showing good sportsmanship. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition in the state of Missouri. It's one minute, 25 seconds left here at Essex, Missouri as the Richland Rebels lead the Risco Tigers 66-57. As uh, Coach Blankenship will sub in Josiah Vasquez for defensive purposes. Vasquez, a very good defender, brought him in to try to extend some defensive pressure here full court. Uh, 
Hughes will take it out into, into Sanders. Vasquez guarding Sanders. And he'll be called for the foul. And Sanders will go to the line to shoot two. Sanders has been very consistent from the line tonight so far. Yeah, Richland, uh, 18 for 21 from the line. That'll win you ball games. Won't win you all of them, but it seems like it wins you the close ones, Jim Riker says. And he'll knock down the first one. And it's Richland now 19 for 22. And he'll knock down the second one. Smith. Thought about the three, kicks it back to Fortner. He'll get the three this time. No good. Long rebound there by Rogers. Back to Smith. He's open. Three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Calvert. Blankenship for three. No good. Rebounded by. And we got a little tussle there on the sidelines. Good job there by the veteran official Jay Powell to break that up. as Richland will go to the line to shoot two. You got Hayden Connor going to the line. Hayden Connor really had a nice game tonight. Did a good job defensively for Richland and uh, really solid ball player for the Rebels. We'll knock down the first free throw. It's point number eight there for Hayden Connor. The second shot from Connor is up. No good. Rebounded by Calvert. Smith down to the corner. Denson, three point shot. No good. Rebounded by Eric Williams. That rebound will give Eric Williams a double double. 13 points, 10 rebounds there for Eric Williams. He's going to go to the line. Again, Richland shooting two from here on out. And that's the fourth foul on Sammy Smith. Williams' first free throw is up and no good. Richland 21 for 26 from the line. Second free throw is up from Eric Williams, and it's good. 13-point lead. Smith, three-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Hughes. Richland has an opportunity here. Up ahead to Connor. Connor's going to lay it in. Connor now in double figures with 10. 72-57, Williams with a steal. Goes up, and he'll lay it in. 74-57, Richland. 20 seconds remain in the ballgame. Calvert, open for three, off the side of the rim. Rebounded by Rodgers. And they're going to get a foul here on Eric Williams. As it looks like the Richland fans are sensing what's about to happen as the Richland Rebels are 12 seconds away from becoming Class 1 District 2 champs. And they will host the sectionals, and they're going to take on the winners of the Clarkton Reindeer and the Cooter Wildcats, who play tonight at 6. And I believe that game will be streamed on Boot Hill Sports Network. Boot Hill Sports Network, Mark Manley. So tune into that tonight to see, uh, to see who these Rebels are going to take on in the sectional game. Again, they'll host sectionals here at Richland. And if uh, tonight's game is any indication, it's going to be full of red. As Rodgers knocks it down, 14-point lead for Richland. They'll get it in and uh, likely run the clock out here. As Sanders gets it tipped away. Denson lays it up, cuts it to 12. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it. Your Class 1 District 2 champions, the Richland Rebels. Congratulations to Richland. 
on a hard-fought district championship. And on the other side of the ball, congratulations to Risco for a really, really nice season. Nothing to hang your heads about. Yeah, you know, uh, it's an emotional roller coaster. That's just how the ball rolls for Risco. You know, it hurts, it stings, you know. You don't want to think about it, but in a year or two, when you look back on this team, you're going to think about what this team done. You know, Tri-County Conference champions, Clarkton Holiday Tournament champions, regular season conference champions. You know, it's just how the ball rolls sometimes. It is, and that's the thing about postseason play. It's win or go home, and tonight the Richland Rebels extended their season, and they'll host sectionals here on Tuesday night. As you see, Coach Blankenship and, and Coach Klein embrace their half court too. Really great guys, really great coaches. And uh, as Richland gets their 20, I believe it's their 22nd win of the season in the district championship game. Again, they'll go on and advance, and they're going to play the winners of tonight's Class 1, District 1 championship between Clarkton and Cooter. That's Richland's 11th district championship in program history. As Risco gets the second place district trophy and their senior leader, C.J. Blankenship, with the plaque. They're really going to miss him next year. And the class one district two champions, the Richland Rebels, and listen to this place explode. I'm going to let you guys listen to this crowd just for a second as they hoist Hunter Sanders in the air. Again, very nice game from the Richland Rebels and if you're the Tigers, nothing to hang your heads about. You've had a very, very successful season. They're losing uh, some some seniors who have given them some big time minutes and Aaron Denson and C.J. Blankenship but they'll be back and this is probably a matchup we're going to see a lot of in the, in the coming years. Six o'clock they announced. Six o'clock, Essex, Missouri, February 27th. You don't want to miss that game as the Richland Rebels will take on the winners of the Clarkton Reindeer and the Cooter Wildcats to see who will go on and advance the quarterfinal play. Just got word that the Charleston Blue Jays have won districts, and that sets up a matchup between the New Madrid County Central Eagles or the Malden Green Wave. So congrats to the Charleston Blue Jays. We will be live Tuesday night right here from Richland High School. We'll also be live Tuesday night from Charleston, Missouri, as they will be hosting the sections. Again, watch social media for news of what's going on, but we'll be right here in the same booth Tuesday night as we follow the uh, Richland Rebels, and they'll take on the winners of the Class 1 District 1 Championship. Garrett, you want to run down some stats for tonight? Yeah, first looking at Risco, they're led in scoring by Sammy Smith, had 33 of their 62 points, truly really the only production they had. Aaron Denson had two with the layup there in the uh, later stages. Landon Baker had six, he fouled out. Eli Rogers had 11, Owen Fortner had 10. And for Richland, the Class 1 District 2 champions, Gary Tilly had 21, Hunter Sanders had 15, Hayden Connor had 10, Eric Williams had a great game, 16 points, nine rebounds, almost had a double double. And Tucker Hughes had eight. Looking at team stats, Risco shot 27 for 57 but they shot three for 23 from three. Richland shot two for nine from three, and they shot 25 for 51. Two-point field goals, rebounds. Risco won that category, 28-25, offensive rebounds. Risco also won that 14 to 10. Risco turned it over 17 times. Richland turned it over 10 times. There were 33 fouls called in the game together, and once again, Risco five for seven from the line. Richland shot 22 for 27. Well, that does it here from Richland, Missouri. Again, congratulations to the Richland Rebels, the Class 1 District 2 champions. We'll be back here February 27th, Tuesday night at 6 o'clock as the Rebels will take on the winners of the Clarkton Reindeer and the Cooter Wildcats game tonight. Folks, we appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight. We appreciate all the support throughout the year. Y'all have a good night, and God bless from Richland, Missouri. Thank you for tuning in on A Corp Sports.